Hello again, as you know, I am Eli the Computer Guy, and today's class is wireless range extenders to enlarge your wireless network. So today we are going to be talking about enlarging your wireless network very easily using something called range extenders. So now, uh, when you first start you know, doing networking, dealing with, with wireless access points and routers, it's going to seem to be pretty simple to set up a wireless network. All you do is you plug in the wireless router, you configure the SSID, you configure a WEP or WPA code, and you think, hey, I'm done. That is building a wireless network. Well, the problem is once you get into the professional world, you're going to find out building out wireless networks gets to be a little more difficult. The reason is, is because of the range of different wireless routers and also the materials buildings are built out of. So one of the problems, uh, I, when I was doing my consultancy here in the Baltimore area, is that we have very old buildings. When I talk about very old buildings, why this is a problem is it means that all of our walls are built with brick and plaster. So if you're out in the West Coast, if you're out in Silicon Valley, if you're out in some rather new uh, development, you know, houses that have been built since the 1950s, then the walls of those houses, the walls of those buildings are probably simply made uh, out of um, sheetrock, out, uh, out of just a drywall, you know? Uh, the thing with drywall is it's not really a horribly dense material and therefore radio waves can travel through it relatively easily. The problem is when you get to an area uh, such as Baltimore or you get to a place that has old cities, the walls of the buildings are built out of brick, they're built out of plaster, they're, they're built out of hard, thick, old wood, and radio waves don't travel through those materials as well. So the problem is, is you set up a wireless access point or you set up a wireless router and you may not be able to get to signals to the building the way that you think you should be able to. So I've seen this a lot here in the Baltimore area where you will be able to send uh, wireless signals three floors up or three floors down from where the wireless access point is, but you won't be able to send it to the next room. The reason is is because the floors and ceilings are made out of wood so the the radio waves can go through that fairly easily but the walls again are made out of brick so when the radio waves try to go through that oh it all just goes to hell so if you're dealing with building like this the problem is is how do you how do you expand the bubble for your wireless access point so that all the devices can connect to the network? Now, if you get really complicated, if you get really sophisticated, you can run a hard wire connections to multiple access points. I've done that in the past, but that gets to be a little expensive and it gets to be a little technical. One of the tools that I like to use, especially in residential environments, is something called a wireless uh, range extender. Now, I just purchased one of these for my own house. As I talk about, the house that I live in is rather large because it was actually an old barn that got turned into a house. So when I moved my office from my basement up to the second floor bedroom where I am now, the problem is the wireless signal did not get here very well. So basically I would get a very, very low power wireless signal. Well, what I, can, what I did is I plugged in one of these wireless range extenders and this extended the range of the wireless signal coming out of my wireless router so that my office got the signal uh, A-OK. -okay. Essentially all a wireless range extender is, is it is a repeater for wireless networking. So let's go over to the whiteboard for a second so I can explain this a little bit. So when I talk about repeaters, Repeaters are from the old days of analog radio. They're from the old days of radio. So if you had a radio and you're trying to broadcast out to your buddies with another radio using FM, FM frequency modulation, the issue is, is in order for one radio to talk to another radio, you had to have something called LOS, or line of sight. So basically, the antenna of one radio had to be able to see the antenna of another radio, and if that 
could not see the antenna of another radio, the connection would not happen. So the problem is, especially from things like military world, that kind of stuff, is if you have a radio here, you have a mountain here, and the, the headquarters that you're trying to communicate with is on the other side, if you don't have LOS, if you don't have line of sight, then you can't talk to the other radio. Well, so in the radio days, what they would do is they would set up something called a repeater. So a repeater station would basically be a radio that you would put at the top of the hill so that this radio would have line of sight on that repeater and the repeater would have line of sight on the headquarters radio and you could communicate that way. Essentially, the idea of what happens with a repeater is the signal goes from the sender to the repeater the repeater takes that signal in and then rebroadcasts it down uh, to wherever it's going. So basically the repeater brings in the signal and then repeats it out. When you get into radio communication, this, this repeater actually gets really, really, really cool. Um, but we're not going into that today. We're just, go we're just talking about the basic concepts. So when I talk about a repeater, really we're talking about radios. So. What they've done in the, the networking world is they've come up with these wireless range extenders that work a lot like that repeater. So if I'm here and I'm in my house, right? This is a horrible explanation, it's a horrible diagram of my house. And so in my basement here, I have my little wireless access point and it broadcasts the signal out everywhere through the house. Well, the problem is where my office is here, so let's say my office is up here, and the wireless data is streaming out through the house. The problem is, is where I'm at, it has a pretty thick wall. So when the wireless signal hits that wall, when it comes out the other side, it's very, very, very weak. It can get through it, but it's very, very weak, and it's very difficult for my computers to be able to use that signal and communicate with that wireless access point. So what I can do is I can put a little wireless extender here, right by my room, that picks up the signal from the router and then it rebroadcasts it at full strength into my room so that my computers can then communicate with the wireless extender that then repeats the data down to the wireless access point, wireless router, and then out to the internet. So that's all these wireless extenders are. Again, they came from the world of, of, uh, wire, of repeaters, radio repeaters, and essentially that's all it is for, a, for the networking world. The signal comes out of your main wireless access point the extender connects to that wireless access point uh, wirelessly, and then it rebroadcasts the signal out. This is an absolute fabulous thing because you can use it. Again, you can use it either if you're in a building that has very thick walls. It's a very easy way to increase the pa the overall power of the wireless signal going out. So basically, what you do is you go from where your wireless router is, you use your little laptop to move throughout the building until you see that the wireless signal starts dropping. Then you put one of these extenders there and that extender basically increases the size of the wireless bubble. So you can use it for increasing the power within buildings or if you have a larger facility, let's say a larger house, you may actually use it to ex extend the overall geographic area for this thing. Now these extenders are really, really easy to use. Uh, once you understand uh, that you need them. Basically, all you do with this particular Linksys version, uh, so this is the Linksys RE1000, you plug this into a wall, you then put in a CD uh, into a computer that can wirelessly communicate with this thing, and then you follow the instructions. Basically, all you do is you put the CD in, you follow the instructions, it asks you what uh, wireless network do you want this thing to connect to, what web code you want to give it, you do that and then that's all you do. This thing just stays plugged in all the time. There's no configurations, there's no IP addresses to remember, it just sits there. Every once in a while, uh, you may have to unplug it and plug it back in just to reset it because you have to do that with all electronic equipment. But there is no other fuss and muss. Very, very easy, very, very nice. Now I do have to say, I have used wireless repeaters for years. I've used Linksys wireless repeaters oops, for years. And I can tell you, the old version of this wireless repeater was a horrible, awful pain in the butt. Um, 
that was almost not worth the time to set up. Uh, it would drop the connections a lot. It would just, it was just a pain. It was one of those that I, I, I say is a money maker for my part um, because I made a lot of money from clients calling and complaining because the thing wasn't working right. Um, but this new version that they've come out with seems a lot more stable and does not have the same issues as the old one does. If you don't particularly like Linksys, these wireless range extenders are a standard type of technology. So you can go out, you can buy them from Netgear, or you can buy them from Deer D Link, or you can buy them from Belkin. Belkin's not too bad. Uh, but you can buy these from other manufacturers. But again, essentially all you do is you plug this in. As long as this can, can connect to a wireless signal, it will then repeat that wireless signal out. All of your computers can connect to it. And again, it works really, really great. These new ones actually have traffic prioritization built into them. They have MIMO, multiple in, multiple out. That means that they have multiple antennas in here so that they communicate better. These new ones are just really great devices. Also, one of the reasons that I purchased this particular one for my networking environment is because when I moved my, uh, my office from the basement, up here into the second floor office, one of the issues is that I cannot run network cable to this office. Again, you can see back, I have historic walls. This is an architectural marvel or something. And so I can't just drill through my walls willy nilly and run cable two floors down. Um, it would just be sad and my wife would probably get into an argument with me. So I, I, I can't run cable in this house. What I like about this particular Linksys wireless range extender is that it actually has a network connect, a hardwired network connection for it. So you can use this like an access point also where you plug this in, you connect it to the wireless network. I then run a network cable from this to a switch. I then plug in all my hardwired servers to that switch. And now all of those hardwired computers are connected to the network just using this as the wireless access point. So that's one of the other nice things, one of the nice features you should look at is uh, by having this ability to, to actually connect wired uh, network computers to this. Again, it extends the range of your network. So that's all these little things are. Uh, the wireless range extenders, I went out to Best Buy, I picked this guy up for like 80 or $90, and generally that is about the cost of them, somewhere between 80 to 100 some odd dollars, depending on what version you go for. Again, as I always say with networking equipment, the better quality you buy, the happier you are going to be. The final warning before I end this little class with these wireless range extenders is again, a lot of you guys are gonna go out and you're going to think this is absolutely amazing and you have to start throwing this into all of your business clients' networks because it'll be great. Again, this is a Linksys wireless range extender, which means this is a consumer level device. I probably would not be installing these in businesses and if I was installing these in businesses, I would be installing them in small businesses. So if you had a business with an office of let's say five people, this thing should be able to handle that very well. If you're dealing with an office of let's say 20 people or 30 people and you try to put one of these things in, I'm going to almost guarantee you that there are going to be issues with this. It's gonna start acting flaky, the network's not gonna be working right, and then it's just going to be bad for everybody. Again, whenever you're dealing with network environments for real businesses, real organizations, 20 people or above, buy real Cisco equipment. Not, not Cisco Linksys, buy Cisco equipment and build out the network properly. But otherwise, that's it again. Wireless range extenders, all they do is they extend the range. You put this out, so you, you have your wireless access point, your wireless router, you figure out where the, where, uh, where the, uh, the network uh, signal starts to fade. You put one of those right there, this get, captures the network signal, and then it blasts it out again, it repeats it out. It's an incredibly good device, incredibly easy to use, and just a wonderful thing to have in your bag of tricks, especially if you're dealing with high value commercial clients, because it just makes everybody happy. So with that, um, I am Eli the Computer Guy. This is wireless range extenders to enlarge your wireless network. Go out there, play with them, use them, buy one of these things. I swear to you, this is an awesome device.